Uh, <laughs> even, even while we're doing this one, the phone just stopped. Back to our stupid reacts, idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. Uh, and we finally got to it. Um, uh, sorry about the wait. Um, what happened was we recorded episodes five and six review over a month ago, <laughs> um, and it somehow got deleted, and then it kept getting pushed back. Yeah. Then I went on vacation. Right, and it uh, wasn't a matter of like it stopped recording. Yeah, we were done. It was yeah. in the can, yep. and you sent me a text that we were freaking out because yeah. you didn't know where it went. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, so sorry about that. It went that. into the stupid netherworld. And then uh, we were filming the intro, and thankfully I noticed right when we were doing the intro that it, the video just stopped, stopped recording. recording. Uh, so they don't want this video to come out for some reason. But it's gonna happen. Uh, so we will not be deterred. But so we'll start with episode five again, and so this is a rehashing. Episode five is called. Sarama. Sarama. And uh, we left episode four uh, after it ended. Coco uh, got shot, and then somebody had. Uh, and what's. Uh, what's Nawazadin. Nawazadin's Gaitande character. Day, uh, at gunpoint. At gunpoint. Point blank. Um, so I, and I'm like, well, it, there goes something. Yeah. Which I'm like, please don't kill Nawazadin. Yeah. <laughs> They're not going please to. Please Well, you don't know. After Game of Thrones, anything's possible with scripted dramas now. That's true. Yeah. Um, but the. Uh, <laughs> But, and I've got to reference my notes. He got, he got out of it somehow, and then we saw that, what's her face? Um, yeah. Cuckoo. 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 Who, I, who, we, who, obviously we loved, if you watch the other reaction, she's a phenomenal actress, and we loved the character, and, um, but so now, bummed. yeah, she. Oh yeah, spoiler reviews, don't watch this <laughs> if you haven't seen Sacred Games 5 and Obviously. Six. Um, but yeah, the, she died and that was very, very sad. Big bummer. Um, but then it kind of sent Nawazdan's character almost yeah. now spiraling. Yeah, it does. And, and you know what? It's probably the point where Sacred Games starts to spin off into yes. brilliance. Yes. These, uh, episode five, um, cause <laughs> then it goes into, uh, the whole almost heist where they're on top of the roof, right? Yes. Uh, and then With Bunty come, they were waiting for Bunty waiting to come out. Bunty, which I, it's the start of basically, I think the best episodes, like, like I said, we've seen five and six, so we'll do six right after this. Yeah, and they kind, they uh, kind of go together for me yeah, in my brain. They, they're they so epic. The best episodes of the series. <laughs> Everything builds to five. So far. Yeah, it's like the series began now. Um, and so I'm very much looking forward to actually watching seven and eight, which you yeah. might see in this video. <laughs> we were, yeah, we <laughs> we've been waiting so long. Uh, uh, but, uh, uh yeah, that, that whole scene, this whole sequence where they're <laughs> waiting for, uh, what's his face? Bunty. Bunty to come out right. of the, uh, of wherever he is. Right. And with that, with that, with the, with the, the woman who he's yeah. got, because he's kidnapped. And then so, uh, Sartage goes down and they, everybody's kind of all uh, about to shoot at each other. And then somebody... Takes, it wasn't one of his characters. I don't think so. No. No, I just know that one of all, Sartosh's characters all that hell breaks loose. Mm -hmm. Right there on that spot. Everybody dies. Every, I think I verbally said, holy sh... <laughs> yeah. Um, it goes crazy. And then... <laughs> <but> the, <laughs> the best thing. You're I had love... Oh, I loved it so much. Uh, <laughs> Bunty was going and then somebody shot him. He gets shot. Right. And, and I don't remember who shoots him. Some, I don't some think we knew. Other sniper... Uh, shoots Bunty, but that's not what ends Bunty. <laughs> Just a freaking 18 wheeler. <laughs> I think I verbally said out loud, oh shit. I, <laughs> and I knew, I'm like, oh. when I saw it, like, Corbin's gonna love oh, that. That was amazing. He's gonna so love that. Oh, that yeah, was... and it just gets nuts. I, yeah. And I wrote, I wrote, but because it wasn't the first time, the it was a stand-in. It wasn't Bunty in the wheelchair when the wheelchair first comes out. Remember, yeah. it was someone else like standing in for Bunty, pretending to be. Then it's a crazy standoff. Bunty gets shot. Then he's hit by a truck. <laughs> then the politician friend of of Gaitande gets murdered in the car. Oh yeah. When we flash back, and that's when I'm tr the whole time. Aren't you trying to figure out what the heck happened to Bunty? Yeah. Why is he in a wheelchair? Why is he in a wheelchair? Yeah. And then we kind of actually go back and to see Bunty younger, right? Uh, and that other guy with the curly hair, and they were uh, who's got uh, doesn't he have a brother? Yeah. Nawazuddin was telling him to kill this, right? 
and he wouldn't. He was too scared or something. Person. The um, guy, the guy that Bunty just walks up to in public and just offs yes. right in, in the on the sidewalk. Yeah, because I'm, I'm, they were, I think, vying for like his number two spot. Yeah, and all that kind of stuff. Right. Um, and so that was quite interesting. Um, but what was it saying? Yeah, to save Niyanika, Sartaj interviews during a raw operation. In 1992, mm -hmm. as political unrest increases, so does the bloodshed from Gaitande and ISIS feud. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And and now you start to get betrayal, and somebody is, has infiltrated Gaitande's group, and he's wondering, who do I have that's the mole in this group? And he also is starting to, now that Cuckoo's gone, he's losing his erections. Yes. Uh, his just his desires, and that's where six starts out. I think, mm -hmm. right? right? Yeah, it ends. Well, five ends. Yeah, powerfully. It ends with Sartaj having to testify about what happened that's way right. back. That's right. And you're looking at Sartaj, and he's being reminded. Remember, he finds his his cricket bat, mm -hmm. and the picture of his dad, who was a cop. This is now. Then six is when he goes and he talks to his mom, but he, we're not there yet. Yeah, no, we're not there. And there's a reason he goes to talk to his mom because you're like, okay, Sartaj, we 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 get the picture that he's a morally upstanding yeah, guy. Yeah, he's the moral compass of the show. He is the moral compass, and here he is, and you're like, what's he gonna say? And he freaking lied. Yeah, he lied, and you can <clears throat> see it when he walks out, and then they're. they're I didn't even there. expect that. I no, I was like. Oh, he's going to be the good guy. He's going to stand up, but then... Yeah. I mean, are you thinking... I mean, you kind of understand why. You obviously. do. You do. Because there is that reality. If you're in a situation like that, you do have to weigh the reality of, on the one hand, there's truth and honesty and what's right. And then you also recognize your position in the system. Mm -hmm. And if I say something right now, is I may have won the battle, but I wouldn't win the war. Mm -hmm. I could say something right now and then I'm gone. And what good is that going to do the system if I'm gone? Yep. But what did you do to stay there and maybe fight later? Or though, is he going completely cold and just is kind of, he freaking turning? Yeah, turning and just turning bad to a bad cop, basically. Right. Episode six. Episode six. <laughs> now. Clean slate. Uh, and once again, these were two of the best episodes. And this one, one yeah, one, it's called. They always say to read them. Trinicalpa. They usually mean something. Right, I'm sure it does. Um, yeah, see that? It's from a text, and they knew it. Pretty. It refers to the cycle of life and funeral rites and how to perform them, and is often read when a person dies, and it comes from the Garuda Pur forgive me if I'm mispronouncing this, Garuda Purana, okay. which is one of the, I'll mispronounce this, Mahapurana texts. So yeah, ancient texts. Yeah, so all of them have that little title and they always say to, for us to read yeah, them. Yeah, and kind of give away what's going on. If mythology's not the right <clears throat> word, please forgive us. We are, we are still way, way behind the curve. We're this, learning about you guys. Read the synopsis real quick. Uh, episode six of synopsis is when Sartaj's constable, Katakar, is pressured to investigate the disappearance of a young man from a Muslim slum. Disastrous right. consequences follow. This was a great, great episode. Um, ba the best. Yeah I, yeah, I think it's the best one so far. Um, outside of the scene with uh, Bunty in episode five. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, got, I gotta just go down my list of the hardcores. Yeah, go ahead. Because as I'm watching this, I went, okay, Sartaj is clearly tormented because he goes to his mom. Yeah. And he asks about the cricket bat that his dad gave him. And he's trying to, it's clear he's trying to get some answers from her to help him with his moral conundrum, and she's a smart cookie. She's like, why are you asking about that? Mm -hmm. And then she says to him, you know, just follow your heart and do the right thing, and he's dying inside. But <clears throat> Sartaj is tormented. Then, the restaurant lady is hardcore. Oh, yeah, she was so good in this episode. Then, Sartaj's buddy is hardcore. Mm -hmm. And then, oh no, Guy Tunde is hardcore. Guy Tunde's wife is hardcore. <laughs> Everybody just goes hardcore in this thing, man. Yeah. yeah, and so basically you see this guy, and I knew it was going to come back into play. The uh, His it? buddy, his yeah. partner, whose his, name is uh, Katakar. Yeah, his partner who kept um, putting off that, the, I believe it was a Muslim woman. Uh, yes. That kept coming. At, with Since the, like episode it? one. Yeah, with, with the, the missing son. I knew it was going to come back. But you know, she kept, um, she, she, she just kept, kept blowing her off and yeah. blowing him off and, and all that kind of stuff. And he looked like he was like a really nice guy to everybody else, except basically, right? This this Muslim woman, so maybe he had yeah. some prejudice. Uh, yeah, whatever he did, he didn't uh, like her. But um, when he actually went and started investigating, and they found him. Yeah. 
and then and it, it completely caught me off guard because uh, when they just killed him. You know, well, two things caught me off. Three things caught me off guard about this episode. Mm-hmm. One, his flipping a switch and going off and going hardcore because mm-hmm. you, I, he's such a s- seemingly sweet and soft-spoken guy with like Sartage I, basically yeah, yeah like when Sartaj gives him the tickets to go with his family to see that actress he has an infatuation with and he, he gives what I love so much the his sweet the, the, the Indian nod of and I just he seems so he just becomes freaking insane yeah he was flexible so that, that his he going did, crazy really well. that after <clears throat> doing such a great job yeah the actor and great. then again another character I'm suddenly loving their work you just get stabbed in the neck. Mm-hmm. And the minute he did, I thought, well, if they killed Cuckoo, no one is no one's safe. out of reach here. It's like Game of Thrones. Yeah. I'm like, oh. And I'm like Sartosh. I'm like, please don't let him die. And his wife had a great moment. Mm-hmm. When he shows up and... She's yelling at Sartosh. She's yelling at Sartosh because he's gone. And those kind of moments for actors are really, really hard. When you don't have a meaty role, yeah, and you have to you do something, to show up, yeah, and you have that to big, deliver that performance. You bet. One of the hardest things for an actor to do. Yeah, and she did a great job. Yeah, but I, I loved the death. I loved the, the that um, we didn't see it coming. No, um, and I loved how he died. Uh, yeah, like in, in terms of acting wise. Yeah, sometimes people don't die well. Um, True, <laughs> he, he they died. show us dying yeah. versus actually dying. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just die. Just die already. Die. <laughs> uh, but um, you said, so I think we ended on this episode at... Well, before, before the very end, what? we get another incredible moment that was really well directed when Sartage is, is... This is the kid who stabs his buddy and, and he chases him. And Sartage is, is going to shoot and he has to flashback to the incident that he knows wasn't right, right to shoot the kid. And Sartage freaking shoots him mm-hmm. and doesn't just shoot him. As he's on the ground, he looks at him and he shoots him and makes sure he's... I'm like, that's when I wrote, Sartage has gone hardcore. Yeah. Yes. That, and that was such a well-done flashback. Because the kid's running, and then it immediately flashes back to the image we saw of the kid running that Sartage had the moral conundrum one from episode one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but then it goes to uh, Gaitande's wife saying, uh, if, if you... she basically, What she links to him is his inability to perform in bed and his lack of passion being linked to the, a mole and something going on and he needs to basically, she just basically says, you need to do what you need to do and kill people and be a man again and then when you're a man again, you'll start getting erections. Mm-hmm. And that's when I'm like, dang, his wife is hardcore. <laughs> forget, forget, you don't need Viagra, you just need to murder someone. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. But no surprise, we've gushed about Nuwazid in every episode. Yeah. He's still my favorite part of this entire thing, even though the whole thing's heating up and everybody's really, Sartage is really interesting to me now. Oh, now. Uh, yeah. But uh, Everybody is. And I love, I'm going to forget her name. Nuwazid is so good, but yeah, oh. he's the restaurant lady. Not just the restaurant lady, oh. uh, but but she was smaller in this, but she's still playing a pivotal role. She's the actress from Under Hun, Hun uh, who is with Raw. Uh, I believe she's with Raw. Um... She's the girlfriend in Undone. Oh, okay, yeah. The, de- yeah, the yeah, detective yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, person. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, she's great. Yeah. So the series just has great, great yeah. acting. But okay, you might help me clear something up. Here's something I don't understand because they go back to her. That's why I thought of her. So we, we, end, the, we end it with video footage of somebody having come in and slipped poison in an IV. Do you remember that? And they're looking at the monitors. Yes, yes. So what that I didn't understand the connection between the photo and there's a photo that Sartage finds in in his buddy's wallet. And it's the same girl as the actress who's the chief of police. Do you remember this? Who who framed her abusive boyfriend? So remember, there's the chief of police Mm -hmm. who Sartage lied for. Yeah. His daughter, I believe it's his daughter is dating that, that she's an actress and the actor that she frames with cocaine and he gets busted at the airport while she's watching the news and she's yes. like, ha, 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 because he beat her, yes. right? Uh-huh. There's a link between her and his buddy Kataker's wallet. There's a photo that Sartage, at the end of the episode, in episode six, he finds the picture mm-hmm. and like, yeah. has a realization. Is that we don't know yet what that's about? Because I don't know what that's about. Yeah, As yeah is, I forgot about that. I don't, I don't know why... I don't understand about the murder in the hospital and why they were happy when they're looking at the screen. They see the image that they still of the guy who came in, messed around with the IV and left, and on the other screen, 
they see that same guy sitting with a, a, a gang member. I'm lost. Well, I think they're just happy because they found the guy who poisoned him. Yeah, but what? There's got to be a deeper... It's got to go back to Guy Tunde. It's got to go... And do you remember? Well, he's I had part forgotten of the, He's this. part of the crew. I had forgotten that Guy Tunde and Sartage's dad have a connection. I... I... Do you remember that? No. They reference it. Apparently... Okay, remember just before Guy Tunde dies in the chair? Yes. Very, very early on? Mm-hmm. He mentions something about Sartage's dad. Oh, yeah. And that's how it's all connected. Yeah, and that's what Sartage is trying to figure out something about. It's like, why does my dad have a connection with Gaitande? Mm-hmm. And my dad, I thought, was a good guy. Is my dad not a good guy? Did he try to stop Gaitande? Did yeah. he work for Gaitande? So there's a lot. I still don't know what the heck's going on. Yeah. Like. So now, <laughs> now we're actually going to watch um, <laughs> seven, 7 and 8. eight. We've been waiting this long because we keep men- we don't want to obviously just jump there and not have five and six right um and so that we've been waiting so long um, and we wanted to make sure we did this before because season two is about to start yeah and Kalki's in it yeah that's right yeah um so took uh, it up another notch maybe you'll see those here now in the world of soccer it's gone You ever been shot in the kneecaps? Twice! <laughs> I saw that, I was like, oh my god! Well, yeah, it happened, I'm like, well, that's why he's in a wheelchair. <laughs> okay, so we're on to episode seven now, finally. Hey, and if I've got sweat stains, it's because it's 140 degrees Celsius in LA. Okay, so episode seven um, is called... Uh, Bunty gets his knees shot. Yes. It's called Ruda. Yeah. R- uh, Rudera. Rudera. Rudera? Rudera. Okay. Uh, here, read the synopsis real quick. The synopsis. Hoping to tie up the many loose ends of their case, Sartage and Anjali reunite to figure out how the enigmatic trinity is linked to Guy Tunde's prophecy. Yes, and just on the heels of five and six, man, it mm. kept going, man. It did, and it kept it, going in a different way. Oh, but it got, it got. I want to tell you what the uh, the meaning is first. Rudra is a deity who's associated with anger, chaos, or storm. The Rudra version of Gaitunde is what this episode is all about. He unleashes hell when his spoilers, by the way, go watch the yeah, show. Obviously, when his wife is killed in an attack by Isis men. This dialogue is utter class. It's only when his love was targeted that he came to killing on the basis of religion, and even then, he cared only about avenging. Yeah, Sabadra, no one else. Yeah, and it wasn't this even line it was right here. Yeah, when Isa killed Subhadra, he awoke the Hindu in me. Yeah, that was a. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, dang, dang. <laughs> things just got real. Yeah, this episode. Um, so obviously, you start off with Sartage, um, kind of going back to he was like he was like all right, I did all that, but I'm good now. I'm yeah, gonna, I'm gonna. F- I made a boo boo. I'm not gonna make boo boos anymore. Now he's kind of just. Uh, he even told his boss, he's like, I'm doing my job, you're, now you're going to have to do, do yours. yours. And I love the line, that's what I was just thinking of, the when he says, hey, earn yourself a little good karma, man. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, he's yeah. like, suck it. Yeah, I'm doing the right thing. And so he uh, just is giving up now in terms of his job, and yeah. just, he wants to do the right thing, right. figure this thing out, because the clock is literally ticking down. To literally ticking down. Something, yeah. uh, <laughs> we still don't know. But we got a real, I was, talk about, Baited and just listening to everything when we are starting to get introduced to Trivity in the past. Mm-hmm. And he's talking to that guy about every 25 oh. years yeah. is this thing. So in 25 years, and that's the, in, the, in the eyes of the universe, this is the blink of the eye. And, and when he met, when uh, um, Gotan, or the, the Nawazuddin's character met oh. um, Trivity. Trivity, yeah. Man, that was good. I, the, I, almost the texted you, that. I almost texted you at that point. Um, I almost just texted you Nawazuddin. Yeah. Because I just, he I, is... I couldn't with him. Because it, it, starting with that, it was just, <laughs> the line, I think it's, uh, if you keep, uh, I think he said like there's th- three rabbits or something. Like, how yeah, many yeah, yeah. Like, if you keep talking, I'm going to shove them up, up your ass. ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it so much. And then we got this whole different side Um of uh, his character yeah. because he was falling in love yes. with this one girl. Yep. And she seemed like a perfect match for him almost. I mean, for a murderer. For a, for a psychopath. Whatever. Yeah, sociopath. But you still end up 
caring for him. You do. Which, which is a mark of an actor doing an amazing job. And, if, and writers. Yeah. Yes. If you can make somebody care for this kind of a monster of a character, yes. you have done an amazing job. Yes, and not created just the stereotypical villain bad guy, but a complex human being who... Nature versus nurture. If he was in a different time and in a different place, would he have been this guy? I love that. Oh, yeah. And so they, they went through this whole thing of <laughs> their relationship. And I, I think it was an amazing scene. Not one word was... It was right when they were first introduced into the episode. Uh, they were naked on the yeah, bed. Yeah, just laying on the bed. And I think they were there for about a minute. She got up. And they just stared at each other. Yeah. They didn't say one word. Yep. Nothing. Nothing. And then they just cut to somebody something else. Yeah. I was like, that was brilliant. Yeah. And yeah. I also I just could go on and on about it. and I know you can too. You know, a, yeah, he's when he's listening her listening to her in the car mm -hmm. tell a story about why she didn't eat the thing yeah. the first time and he's he's listening. And when she finishes the story, you see his realization of both because he didn't understand it first, he was taking it a little personally. And he listens He's looking at her in the rear view, and you see him go, oh, that's, that's actually adorable. And mm -hmm. you see his endearment toward her. Nawazuddin is just a brilliant listener. He's just a brilliant actor. He is Oscar level. Oh, yeah. Um, 100%. 100%. Um, just as good as acting can get. And then what you go in the episode is it turns, and s these people show up to the house, and you don't see it coming. And they're looking for Gatandek. And they kind of just shoot up the house. It kind of reminded me of the uh, opening of Gangs of Philosopher, remember? Yeah, yeah, very much. Yeah, I yeah. was kind of mixed up. I was like, wait. And I okay. think, no, that wasn't in segregation. Okay, I, was I had a feeling when they went back to her on the bed, Yeah, I thought, she's shot. And yeah. when she moves the pillow, I said out loud, I knew it. Yeah. I audibly, Dang I, it. I, I was like, oh. Yeah. Because I was feeling for, I was like, I oh, know. He's, he's getting a They just drew us into the You finally get an erection again. Yeah. <laughs> And you took it away <laughs> from him. Uh, but then he obviously, and for obvious reasons, obvious kind of reasons. goes nut balls. Because he's been through Whoa. so much. And now, it, 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 this is like the, the straw that broke the camel's back. Exactly, yeah. Because the philosophy cuckoo was enough to send him spiraling. Mm -hmm. This was enough to send what I call ramble mode. Yeah, I think I think he's now becoming what everybody... In, at least in the show, knows him as Gatunde in, in, in the present. The present, yeah, knows who Gatunde is. One hundred percent. He's becoming because he, they killed all the men, but then he was just like, he, he burned turned, the whole fucking village. He turned, he turned to <laughs> Darius Targaryen on them. Yeah. He's yeah. like, let's just burn all the kids, what? all the children, all the people, just kill them all. Daenerys, what? Yeah. What? <laughs> what? 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 Do you, what? Do you, what? Do you, what? Do you, what happened to? No, they don't rang you. the bell. They rang the bell. Ah! <laughs> but it, it made for such an interesting moment uh, for the character yeah. um, and uh, it was it was just brilliant writing and the show's Great. getting better, better one episode better. left in this season just so good uh, and I'm wondering what's going to happen are we going to figure out what's going to happen in the 25 day or the no nah, not in this season no, you know, no way this was day 16 day 16 no way and a couple other things the scoring again the music on this was so freaking good so pulled back so subtle mm -hmm. uh then that last scene, I was noticing the score, but I'm again, oh, yeah. You took another great actor away from us. Yeah. Like when, she, when she was doing it, I was like, okay, okay, oh god, something's gonna happen. Wait. Yeah. And then she turned around, and I'm like, oh shit, they're yeah. gonna shoot her. Yeah. <laughs> and then, well, actually, my first reaction was, oh crap, it's a white guy. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, he hasn't said a word yet, so he, he hasn't messed it up yeah, yet. Yeah, he hasn't had to say anything, so that's good. Yeah, but, uh, uh, <laughs> but when he, I, I was concerned, and I thought, there's, you know, my mind is thinking, she's such a good actor, and I love watching her on screen. There's yeah. no way they're going to take her away, Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. And But I love that they did. Right in the frickin' head. I, I said, I jumped up in my couch and, and said, no! Yeah. And then fell back. I think I verbally was like, oh! <laughs> and fell back as she's laying there looking at us with her eyes open and a bullet hole in her head thinking, no. But inside thinking, so and so who is that's he so right. Who is he associated with? Is I don't he, know. He wasn't even looking at her either. It was no. weird. He was yeah. like looking off in the middle distance. Yeah. Like, this guy's It's almost big. like he was like mentally ill. Like he something was off. There. Yeah, something wasn't there. Like, what um, is this guy doing? So uh, I, I don't know who he is with um, um, or what. 
But I don't know. What do you think is going to happen last episode? I, th- I, I wonder how far Sartage is going to go when he finds out she's been killed. You know, because I think everybody's got a switch that'll flip. And we've seen Sartage kind of flip a switch a little bit. Um, I, I don't I don't know. I, I, I don't... I, I mean, they have to keep it going until Sartage can't just go Rambo and just kind of die and no. sacrifice himself. And well, I, mean, I guess he could. Yeah, but... They could, they could blow our minds and end season one with Sartage dying. Yeah, but what are they going to do in season two? Kalki's coming back. <laughs> he has to be a new main character. That's right. <laughs> Introduce new main characters every season. Take it Game of Thrones 2.0. You just kill off everybody in the first season, brings season two in, kill all of them off. So, That's yeah. Funny. Well, I'm guessing you'll find out what we thought about in about five seconds. Yeah, so hang on. And we're back! We finally finished. I'm in a daze. Season one. It's about time, guys. Of Sacred Gums! Sacred Gums! And thank you for sticking to the end of this video. Yeah. Uh, five through eight, I kind of just... Since you waited so long, I was like, I'm just gonna drop them all. You guys are just the most patient little stupid babies. <laughs> I think they actually almost gave up. Basically. I know. <laughs> but I, I, love, I love the messages, not just with this, but for anything. When it's like, I was a virgin when I requested this, and now I have three grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's ridiculous. Uh, but yes, season one, episode eight, the season finale. It's in the books. It's done. It's called. I want to pronounce that? Yayati. Yayati. Uh, and do you want to read the synopsis? To save me? Mumbai from impending doom, Sartaj, who I always recognized, races against time to find out who Gaitunde's third father is and what's planned to happen on the 25th day. By the way, if you don't know this already and you're already at season 8, spoiler alert. Um, yeah, season 8, I mean episode 8, spoiler alert. Obviously. We're going to talk about the content of the episode. You're, you're way uh, uh, <laughs> past spoilers Way beyond point. spoilers at this uh, point. Which I've just got my first thought about this last episode of the season that just immediately comes to mind. Mm-hmm. We had Sartage go full Jamie Lannister right there. Uh, I thought the hand was going. <laughs> so did I. I really did. I want to hold on. I want to look up the uh, the the name. Uh, want to read that from it's the name. Yes, the meaning. Yes, the, the meaning of the name. Y- like. y- Yagadi. Uh, Yagadi was cursed with premature old age and had asked his son, Puru, to swap their ages. Ooh, that's a cool concept. Hmm. Yayati also conquered the whole world and was the Chakravartin Samrat. The last episode has Guruji finally convincing Gaitande to join his cause, thus bringing his son into the fold. There's so much, I'm sure we're missing a ton of crap. <laughs> we're missing so much okay, of these so, parallels. So, so they're talking about the guy who was talking to him in the prison that got him out. On the phone, on yeah. The, phone. the dude on the phone saying you're not gonna die. Okay. Whoever that third, the third father. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, the, the episode. Uh, how did it start? It started with Sartage, correct? Yes. I think. Yeah. We're, we're at the investigation because. of he's on the train. That's right. And 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 then he gets kidnapped. And he's kidnapped and finds out simultaneous that I forgot her name was shot in the head, and we yeah. lost her in the show. And so it kind of kept up the intense pace of the last three episodes yeah. of the season. Five, six, and seven, and eight. Yeah. Like most shows. Yeah. Like Game of Thrones, Westworld, The Office. Mm-hmm. You see the first few episodes and you realize, especially in retrospect, after you've watched m- multiple seasons, you go back and you go, wow, they really didn't know the characters yet. Mm-hmm. And they're just getting the story fleshed out. Episode five. This season began in episode oh, yeah. five. And it just has kept clicking all along and so that he he got kidnapped and then yeah he's tied to the table and handcuffed oh, man that and then and that white guy who is a very good actor shocker yeah <laughs> he's uh, the best we've seen it, it, the best white guy we've seen in any uh indian cinema yeah yeah except uh what's her face but she grew oh, up in uh, and Kofi. and no and we really enjoyed the actor who was in uh Bangda Rasanti or Rangda Rasanti. I always mess the letters up on that. I, I Corbinize those. Um, that's in the new phraseology, by the way. If something spe- something's screwed up title-wise, like Unda Hunda Hun, that's where the legend began. It's been Corbinized. Uh, that actor who played the guy who was torturing the, the soldiers who wouldn't give in, and he's so 
astonished and he's journaling about it. Who oh, reminded yeah. you of, 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 of Bettany? Oh, gotcha. Okay. This is the first guy we've seen comparable. And he was really, he has a weird face, which is probably the thing that, that, that bothers sorry, me the most. Sorry, to, which makes him great for the role, though. Yeah, he's not even on IMDb on the episode, though. Which no, is but it makes him strange. I don't know why he's not. He's not even listed as a cast he's member. Credited on the. Uh, yeah, but he's such a, he's such a great creepy dude. Yeah. Totally yes. believable as a creepy dude. And let's give Saif Ali Khan, man, that dude, he pulled off pain like Harrison Ford pulls off pain. Mm -hmm. I fully believe that guy just had his thumb chopped off. Oh, yeah. That was an intense scene. That was a really intense oh. scene. And I, I because I now... Think I, I think when it happened, I was like, oh! <laughs> because, because they have killed characters we like, mm -hmm. and they just chopped off his thumb... Mm -hmm. I was sitting there with the Game of Thrones sense of, uh, who knows what the heck they're gonna do right now. We may see Tarkin. I said that before this episode. I said he may be gone. I still don't believe. He, I don't think he would be. But I, I thought the hand was gone. Yeah. Uh, I thought more torture. I don't know what was gonna happen, but his believability and the continuity throughout having to move the rope around uh -huh. to just cut off finger. Yes, and mm. even and little details of uh, smaller movement. Because so many times you'll see somebody lose a limb or something, and they play the pain in the moment realistically, but then as the scene progresses, it's almost like they've forgotten they got hurt. Yeah. And you wouldn't forget that no. at all. It would still, even if it wasn't even touched, you would still be dealing with the fact that I'm in excruciating pain, right? And he even got, he was, I guess, I don't know if they makeup sprayed him down, but he had the sweats. Uh, that was just yeah, fantastic. That was an intense scene. Uh, and then uh, the police came and they started to shoot up. And he passes out. And he passes out. Um, and, and that guy gets away. That guy gets away. We still So we still don't quite know who this guy is. Don't Yeah, in the hierarchy of who's running the show here on the people doing this countdown for yeah. destroying Mumbai. We're getting closer, though. We don't know. Because um, the feeling at the beginning initially and you still get that feeling is like it's Gaitande is the main yeah, but he killed dude himself. but he's not he's not he definitely can't be the one because he doesn't have enough of the midichlorians in his blood he's not the chosen one so <laughs> you like that reference but and then we went to um, Gaitande in solitary in the, in the prison yeah. which obviously this is Fast forward if you don't like watching this gush over uh, Nawazuddin. Uh, Nawazuddin, yeah, we've got we are totally unashamedly man crushed on uh, this actor. Holy shit, that man is so good. He's just brilliant uh, all the time. It was such <laughs> one. It's an, it was an intense scene. Just they put him in solitary confinement. Uh, he finds his friend that was his old friend that is in the is in the prison. Mm -hmm. uh, they beat up on these other people, right? Uh, taking a, taking revenge on ISIS men having killed all his and people he and gets, his wife. He gets pushed put in uh, isolation where he has to poop. Where he has to. I love the flashlight shots, the oh, direction yeah. of the click, and then it goes black, and then it's a little closer click. Yeah, black. this the, the cinematography of Sacred Games is awesome because they mm -hmm. like a lot of low light shots mm -hmm. um, where you, you can't really see the actor's face very mm -hmm. well but it's a beautiful beautiful shot agreed um, uh, but then yeah Sark no uh, we find out that the way Sartaj is connected to was and then it's his father his father is showing him is showing him compassion showing him compassion in the prison mm -hmm. um, and so and it, there was kind of some foreshadowing I believe um, when he was in a cell he was talking, no, when he was talking to his, uh, what's his face with the chopped off legs? Uh, Bunty. Bunty. Um, that guy come up and he was like, this guy's, this guy's okay. And that was Sartaj's right. father. Right. Um, because so he's, he's a, a good man. He's a good man. So don't hurt him basically, but everybody else is kind yeah, of fair game. Destroy them all, but leave him alone. Um, so that's kind of how it is. And so you see kind of Sartaj's father was the exact same as actually Sartaj. Right. In terms of just being a good human and that's where he got it all from. Um, but yeah, the uh, Nawazuddin's character, whew, he had a, he, he had a lot of beautiful moments like he always does. He's just, he, he, I can't stop thinking about your comparison because it's almost like they're two sides of the same coin. He has a natural just beingness uh, at any given moment, the same way Gary Oldman does. Mm -hmm. He just has this sense of, he's never ever performing mm -hmm. never ever he's always listening he's always present he's always in the moment the moment he had 
And that uh, the moment he's on the phone where he really gives in to the reality that he's going to die, I believed him 100%. I believed I was watching Nawazuddin as this character coming to terms with my life is about to end and it's, I wish it hadn't ended this way. I just was, he's a beautiful actor. Mm. And, beautiful then, actor. and then at the end when basically, um, after the phone call and right. this mysterious guy uh, who I'm guessing is the orchestrator. And uh, got some power, because I, I, didn't you think when all of Isa's guys come up on him, and he said it was like 40 guys against two, mm -hmm. I'm like, so how do you not die from this? It's mm -hmm. kind of like when a Matthew McConaughey in Interstellar is going into the black hole, you're like, okay, how are you gonna make him survive this somehow? Because that's just gonna be stupid. And the black shirts arrive. Mm -hmm. So clearly, whoever the He's third some power, power is powerful. He's got some power of some sort, obviously, um, because even uh, Katunde, who is a very powerful person, would uh, is not as powerful as this guy. He doesn't no. have the people that can get come into a prison. No, because Katunde can't pull the strings on law enforcement. Yeah, this guy can. Yeah, whoever so, does third power. I don't know who this guy is. Yeah, um, and I'm wondering. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's Kofi. <laughs> uh, could, could be. It sounded like a male, though. So Doesn't uh, matter. Uh, maybe she just has a male talk. Yeah, I'm doing the talking. Um, that would be fun. <laughs> That'd be really uh, fun. <laughs> but, uh, and then at the end, we can talk about the end now and what we, what we think is going to happen. Because Sartage goes, I believe he goes through everything. Uh, he walks through the... When he, after he comes to, right? Yeah. He, uh, he goes, well, he passes out. They take him to the hospital. You know, he's reading the paper. But the last things that we find out, first of all, in that warehouse, he yeah. finds all of the arms. Arms and the, the, the gas uh, uh, pipes. Yes. Uh, so I'm guessing one of the 25 day things is one, there's going to be a big militia or a, uh, a gas attack or, or, or worse, because at the very end, he goes down into that room that looks like it is set up to be a bomb shelter, a fallout bomb shelter, which would mean somebody's preparing for Mumbai to be nuked. Mm. And then the arms are for people who apparently, who survived the nuking, can, can then rise up after fallout and take control of the city because everyone else is gone and defend it. For, that's what it looks like to me. Mm. That the countdown is to nuke the city, totally like eradicate it. And the, the people who know it's coming are gonna be in the bomb shelters. Kinda of, kind of like <laughs> Kingsman. You've seen King, <coughs> the Kingsman? Mm -hmm. Oh, but never mind. <laughs> um, but so yeah. you should see that. You I, like I, I, I should. Uh, <laughs> I just I just never got to it. Um, but yeah, that's uh, I don't know what's gonna happen because one, that would be a dumb idea because the city would be unlivable for I know, and I'd be we could live in it. Decades. Right. Uh, because of just the radiation. And maybe stuff. it's just gassing. Yeah. So I don't know what it is, but they're planning on a bunch of people dying. Obviously, there's a bunch of arms yeah. everywhere. Right. And I don't know if that's legit or is that a distraction? Is it to make them chase the arms, but they really have a secondary plan that's going on, like the nuke plan? And clearly, Ga uh, Gaetande didn't... Uh, he didn't think he would survive. That's why he just shot himself? I guess. Or... I should rewatch the first episode. Or he was a pawn when he really felt he was a leader in the whole thing. And still, there's a role that Sartage's dad plays that we haven't figured out yet. Yeah, we're so, on day, what, 15? Day 15, yeah. 13? And uh, it ended, and I thought, I'm in. Yeah. I am fully looking forward to season two, and I like this series. Uh -huh. This is a, I recommend this series to like. Oh, 100%. And let me tell you, Saif Ali Khan, man, the first episode we saw of him was like the whole Ranveer Singh thing with Gully Boy for me. It was like, he did good. Yeah. And now as I've been watching, I'm growing and understanding. Like we're seeing trailers, he's popping up all the time in every other film. I'm realizing, oh, okay. His yeah. best role was clearly the 90s the, dance. The, the 90s dance. <laughs> it can't, that's his best role, just like it was Ranbir Kapoor's best role as being alien number three in two. Sorry. Don't get that wrong. That's true, because <laughs> alien number three, he kills and eats. Yeah, no, that's awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, let us know what your theories are, because obviously you haven't seen 
Yeah, we're all up to, pe- to par and up to speed. Yeah, we're time. all on the same. I believe season two should come out at soon. Any because I know they were we they revealed like a cast video. Yeah, we haven't seen that um, at all. Well, we knew that Kalki's because we follow her on Instagram. We knew yeah. that she was included. We knew she which was made us really happy. But we haven't seen that video yet. No, um, and I don't believe they released a, even a trailer for the second season yet. Not. To my knowledge, I haven't seen it. Um, so let us know what you, you your theories are for the. For yeah, the let's talk theories now. What's uh, the things going on, folks? Uh, we're we're up to date now, and it's very exciting. Sorry this took so long, but thank you for waiting. As always. <laughs>